Welcome. Alright, um, I decided to switch things up a little bit in my typical format of, like, uh, painstakingly, like, painstaking detail showing every process of how I, like, create a character. Uh, instead, I'm just gonna show off the finished product and, uh, spend the, the rest of the video just, like, um, in, uh, a quest mod that I downloaded. I haven't like played through the quest mod in its entirety, so this is gonna be. Well, I've only played through about half of it, so it's gonna be relatively clean, uh, semi-blind uh, run through of it. But uh, yeah, and yeah, this is uh, a character Pedro. <laughs> I made him before um, the finale of the Mandalorian came out, so I didn't actually know uh, what Mando's real name was, so I named him after the actor Pedro. Pedro Pascal. But yeah, it's a uh, yeah, um, relatively simple character, high perception, relatively high intelligence, uh, pretty high luck, mostly for like ammo purposes and critical uh, anchor. Uh, yeah, his armor is um, mostly created for mods. Oh, actually entirely modded, yeah. Um, if you want, like, a, a more detailed um, uh, description of the mods I use, uh, I can make a video for that, but, uh, yeah, I'll put the mods that I'm using in the description, or at least some of the mods, because there's a lot of them. <laughs> There's weapons, too. Two of them, one's, like, more of a short. Short and medium range, the other one's like a long range blaster. Uh, both of them like uh, very Star Wars esque. And yeah. I uh, uh, just quickly uh, use the cheat menu to boost myself up to level 41 so that I can get all of the proper perks and stuff, but uh, yeah, that's, that's him. So, I think I did a pretty good job with his face based on the actor. Doesn't look bad. But not really gonna see it much since I'm just gonna have on the helmet for most of this. And that's how it looks with the helmet on. Alright, but yeah, I'm gonna I think I already picked up the quest for the for the quest mod. I would Yeah, Rude Awakening. Not even sure if I'm gonna talk to Cod's work since I'm mostly just Worried about the most of when I get the request, uh, quest mod. Okay, um. Yeah, there we go. Attention all vault tank personnel. The reactor failure is imminent in the vault 111 government zone. Immediate action is required. Multiple lives are at risk. This message will repeat. Yeah, the, uh, the quest is supposed to be like fully voice acted. Attention all vault tank personnel. And it's supposed to use um pretty much your remixed uh, character dialogue. So that your character's not just a mute during the entire process. Yeah. This is Mando using uh Got a jetpack, doesn't have that much um, AP, so I'm gonna have to like. I've, I have one mod uh, that helps with the jetpack so that it doesn't consume AP cost, but I can't like do. I can't like sprint forever, so it gets a little bit choppy. But yeah. Last time I did this, the enemies in here are actually pretty tough. Uh, how much armor do I have? Yeah. Don't have any companions and eh, my armor is decent. Couple stim packs. Alright. Hmm. Mm. Is this the long range? Yeah, it's the long range. Like, 
Okay. So, just gonna save for get myself killed. That's it. Uh, the worst thing about this um, mod, from what I can tell anyway, I haven't gotten to the ending or anything like that, so I guess there could be more things that I dislike, but it's it's a big mod. Like, it, it's beefy. Like, I think it's over um, 500 megabytes, I think, or 500, wait, actually, I can just bring it up. Uh, it's called, oh. Okay, that's a little odd. Okay. Uh, bring it up some other time then. Oh, I'll, I'll leave the uh, information about where to find the mod links to it in the description. Ooh. This dude. Did I miss like all the shots? Shit. more stem packs. I don't even know I'm shooting that guy.
like one more. Or two. Oh, no. Ooh! No! <sighs> okay, guess we're gonna try again. Maybe I'll just use the other one for the entirety of this. The scope blaster. Seems to do a lot more damage. Slightly hard to aim, but what was that? Oh, great. Forgot to uh oh, right, I can actually do this hockey thing to raise me. Yeah, I think I'm liking this game. They know that I'm here, but at the same time, they're still kind of like following their, uh, their typical paths. Anyone. Still want anyone shooting any, or throwing any grenades at me. Forget I'm here. Doesn't seem to be anyone in this. Oh, this Raiders got like a nice set going.
All right, there we go. I think that might be the last of the raiders. Do I this entire area? Yeah, this DLC is not easy, but if I remember, it gets... Or actually, no, never mind. One part of it actually feels harder than these. At least from what I remember, anyway. Playing through it, uh, someone on a different character. Yeah, it's pretty interesting stuff. They're limited, obviously, by um, for what your character can say when any type of situation arises. Because you know they just don't have that much to work with. Like they're remixing dialogue uh, for a different context. I think I'm fine. Should be able to walk around normally. Or not. Let's step back, I can use it. So yeah, you're pretty much, um... I think you're helping out what was left of the United States government. That, uh, for whatever reason, locked themselves in, in uh, a second closed-off part of the vault. And survived, uh, I guess... Uh, power failure. I guess they have their own power grid. Not sure what's up here. Oh, it's just... Okay. Maybe this area becomes important in the story later down the line. I know Mando's jetpack uh, has a red light, but personally, I just like the blue light. We fire. everyone here. This part gets a little bit glitchy a couple of times. Like, I think the last time I did this, one of them was already, like, out of their pods, <laughs> just waiting for everyone else to get revived. But beyond that, it should be fine. Hopefully that doesn't happen this time. It's not an issue. The game worked properly after that. The mod worked properly. Yeah, if you want like a streamlined version of what I did to make this character, then yeah, just uh, let me know in the comments section. Yeah. Yeah, these are the cryopods. Good thing no one's like chilling outside with me this time, so that's good.
going on? Where is everyone? Wait, I don't recognize you. How did you get in here? Who are you? General Russell Ward of the United States Armed Forces, Commonwealth of Massachusetts Division. Now, how about you answer my question? What is this place? This is a restricted area. And that's all you need to know until you tell me who you are. I'm from Vault 111. This area is inaccessible from the civilian wing. You must have come from outside. What's it like? Who are you? Dr. Ellen Kane, Research and Development Division of the United States. Or I suppose the former United States. Oh, it's a disaster. Hard to believe anyone has survived. It's as I feared. We don't have time for this right now. I need to get to my terminal and find out what's going on. It's just down the hall. So I think the mod description uh, mentioned that these guys essentially serve as an um, entirely separate faction. I think it's the Enclave? That it brings the Enclave into the Commonwealth? But if I'm not wrong, it's been a while since I read the mod description. Yeah, it's quality stuff. It's been over 200 years. My god. 200 years? What happened? Are there any updates from command? Anything at all? Nothing since the bombs dropped. The lands must have been destroyed. Everyone remember their orders prior to entering the pods? Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. Good. Now, maybe our fellow vault dweller can help us. Doctor. If you would. We had a contingency plan should communications to the vault fail. There's a radio facility not far from here. Assuming it's still functional, we can use it to contact command. You don't know us, but we're America's best hope right now. You've got experience out there, and we'll need your help. Why should I help you? It's got to be a ravaged wasteland out there. We'll fix it. With or without you. And you don't want us as your enemy. What do you mean by that? We're the remnants of America's government and military. Assuming others have followed protocol, there's more of us out there. If we can regroup, we can work together to restore this country. I'll help if I can. Good. Sergeant Peterson here will assist you. Get to the facility and try to reroute its connection to the vault. We'll do the rest here. I have this guy. Sir. Hello. What do you do here? I was one of the general's entourage on the day the Great War started. But right now, my job is to protect the team as best as I can. Anything I can do to help out? Nothing right now. The General's the one you want to talk to if you want to help. How are things going? I'm still trying to wrap my head around all this. I gotta go. I'll be around if you need me. I think he is the one I'm supposed to be. Or you. Sergeant. Ready whenever you are. Yeah, it's him. You sure you want to travel with me? Orders are orders. It'll also be good to see what we're dealing with firsthand. Let's go. Here goes nothing. I just need to rearm first. So it's not the room he's supposed to be doing that. Yeah, minor um, uh, issues with the. What do you call it? Tracking, mapping, something. Uh. Okay. Ready. 
Hey, the regular vanilla NPCs have the same problem. Thank you. Maybe we should get Codsworth. But then again, I'd have to go and get Preston and everyone else. Before Codsworth even becomes available. How did I get out? Uh, nope. Out here? Yeah, there we go. Probably at least get dog meat. Uh, he'll he'll find his way. Oh, I don't have the quest switch down. Uh, I'm sorry. And there we go. It might actually get dog meat uh, before heading over there. At least help out a little bit. Sergeant Peterson. Alright. Uh, well, eh. Uh, hmm. Uh, yeah, they're kind of. There's a little bit of a horde mode scenario. Well, alright. I think me and Sergeant Peterson. We'll get dog meat or at least some kind of companion for the next part of it. The next part of it's gonna get worse and not have any. Is that just a suit of power? Oh no, it's who the hell is Duke? Just the part I was looking for. The guys back at the garage are gonna flip. Nothing else to find here. This hunk of junk is picked clean, Daddy O. You building something? My friends and I soup up old power armor. We have groovy metal suits like you have never seen. You seem like a cool cat. You should check out our digs. Our machines are something to see, Jack. That's the dude from the Adam Scott Garage? I've, always, I've never actually gotten the uh, quest line for them before. So I've never actually gone over to where they are or anything like that. But I've always heard about them, so. Yeah. Cool. Go check that out. Oh, uh, yeah. This fight can be kind of annoying. Found that's just best to jet back up here and just take him out from a distance. That's all for that. Oh. Fusion core. Nice. Wait, what the? Whoa! Oh, that is not what I meant to do. on these things? Uh, not that good. So it's like just packing around. Yeah, I also have crossbow. I was thinking of making like a Daryl from The Walking Dead and doing something along that lines. Maybe I'm like survival mode or something. So, something tells me I'll die a lot. <laughs> but hey. Uh, more challenge is better, I guess. Let's 
Sergeant, Pe Sergeant Peterson is taking sweet time getting over here. I kind of ditched him at the jetpack, so he can run faster. He's about to make me do this entire, like, tower defense mission, but. Oh, God, no! Shit. There we go. <laughs> I accidentally leaked it to see. <laughs> The CIT for a second. My bad. You hear that? Sounds like they're planning a counterattack. Get ready. Maybe that terminal has something that can help us. Wait, what? Wait, whoa! Who's there? What the? They just spawned. <laughs> Okay, and back to my spot. I already have. on the targeting hub. Because, duh, it's like probably the coolest feature of this mod. Part of the general book of the game. Oh god! Oh, they're just throwing Molotovs. Harrison, you are doing actually a pretty good job, mostly by yourself. Yeah, true, red dot. I'm going out in my one shot, though. <laughs> Oh! Oh my god, the amount of enemies. What? Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, go. Oh, I'm going to have to resupply. I'm just going to get stint guys after this. Actually, let me just go through all these bodies. <laughs> well, that's our first. Sergeant, hi. How are things going? I could really do with a coffee. I gotta go. See you around. Okay, good talk. Oh, I gotta return to the general? Alright. Well, let me get some of these bodies first. That's the one thing I can I can um, guarantee you about uh, this mod. Like it's it's not easy at times. Like, at times it's actually vicious, <laughs> damn near vicious. So, uh, one glitch about the jetpack that I know is that sometimes the uh, fire turns off. You want to see the uh, jetpack effect. All you have to do is uh, unequip it and then re equip it. Jetpack's probably my favorite mod that I've like, ever downloaded for Fallout 4. Okay, I think that's enough bodies. I'll head back. And even though my uh, jetpack doesn't drain X or uh, AP anymore. It does still shut off if I have zero AP, which kind of sucks. <laughs> so I can't really use it while sprinting. Let's say I did something to give myself unlimited AP, which feels a little bit too much like cheating. Oh, Pearson. Huh? Guess he's gonna have to walk. Sir. Hello. I gotta go. I'll be around if you need me. He doesn't have much to say. Okay, general. Hmm. 
You can get it already. Sir. My terminal's lit up, so whatever you did, it worked. It's not all good news, though. There's been no responses from command. And without them, we're in the dark as far as the bigger picture goes. We have, however, managed to isolate the location of an old military hangar. Records show that there's a vertibird still there, too. If it's operational, we'll be able to use it to get to command. While Sergeant Peterson debriefs us, I'll need you to investigate. <coughs> Sir. Have you been to the hangar yet? Was the vertibird there? I need to ask you something. What do you need to know? Why should I trust you? Because we're what's best for this country. If you help us, you'll come to see that. What's your plan exactly? For now, we just need to get to command. Keep helping us, and we'll gladly tell you more. What's your story? I am a general of the United States Armed Forces. I was due to transfer to the Gobi Campaign Theater, though the Great War put a stop to that. Never mind. Actually, I'll be back later. We can't afford to wait too long. Okay. But yeah, the hangar is actually pretty hard. I remember that from my last character. My last character was OP, and I still died a lot. This character is actually a lot less powerful. So I'm probably just gonna, like, in the next few minutes, uh, maybe grab a dog meat. Talking to Cosworth. Doing that, you know, initial all four starter stuff. But yeah, if you have any suggestions for me or uh, critiques, anything like that, just uh, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Uh, ideas for videos, stuff like that. Use like pretty much any, any any support, anything like that. Thanks for that away. Okay. Maybe I should sleep first, because I can As I live and breathe, oh, it's it's really you. What would Mando say? My God, they did it. Those bastards really did it. Everything's dead. Everything's dead? Ah, yes, the gun. Uh, the posies have been uh, problematic, I admit. Ah, if only the missus were here to help. Where is she, by the by? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. 
Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. <clears throat> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you... A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give and take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? You must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car! How do you polish rust? Whoa, whoa. Focus, Codsworth. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find Mrs. Bonte. I believe the missus was going to present it to you. Continue on this kind of path. Oh yeah, I also have a mod for a flamer. Like a little handheld flamer. That I have to like um, buy from uh, I think it said that it's sold by just about every uh, merchant. Or anyone that has like a general inventory. I'm not sure if like Dr. Sun is gonna set up gonna like uh, sell me flamer. I cleared out the other house already before. Codsworth. people already. Oh good. Maybe you'll get along there and they can help you find young 
Mando's going over his hatred of robots. Or maybe it was just for that one droid. Well, also, uh... Spoilers. Sorry. But this is the end of the video anyway. I think this part's gonna end basically here. But yeah, um... If you like this, want to see more of it, uh... Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.